just to give you a little bit of uh, context uh, before uh, the visit uh, this is uh, Via dei Tribunali these are the famous uh, arches uh, along Via dei Tribunali it's called Via dei Tribunali because uh, further down the road uh, there is uh, the court uh, of Naples on the opposite side uh, there are the famous uh, pizzerie Sorbillo uh, Sorbillo started uh, his uh, business uh, during a time of uh, fascism and uh, they basically had um, 20, 21 uh, children who all went on to become uh, pizza makers. Uh, this place uh, is also uh, becoming uh, iconic for street art, uh, as you can see. Another piece by uh, Blub, this is uh, Mozart uh, playing uh, underwater presumably in the waters of the sea of Naples Bay take a look at the gun uh, pointing in uh, our direction but uh, the city center of Naples uh, used to also be quite dodgy so um, I know of people who used to go up this uh, alley to buy uh, hashish uh, of uh, a woman and she used to hide uh, the drugs uh, in her uh, clothes rack so she used to hang the washing out and hidden in the washing maybe in a sock there used to be drugs uh, she'd then uh, sell on the street so uh, while all this uh, is going on uh, this is the place I'm going to be taking you to Hi everyone, uh, this is uh, SALT, uh, the channel all about uh, sports, uh, but also uh, culture and art and anything uh, tasty and interesting. So today I'm going to take you uh, through a visit of the church of uh, Santa Maria delle Anime del Purgatorio ad Arco. A long complicated name to say it's a church uh, dedicated to the Holy Mary praying for souls in purgatory. The church is a Baroque in style, a verging on Rococo. So we have uh, lots of uh, curved lines, lots and lots of gold and decor, especially inlaid marble in this church. We are immediately behind the altar of the church and uh, a symbol hidden behind the altar is uh, the skull. These are some of the clothes used uh, in uh, local processions. Uh, the color jet black is extremely rare. So it's uh, the appropriate color for mourning and for the cult of the dead. These are what we call ex voto. People uh, would uh, pray God or pray a saint to obtain uh, a certain uh, miracle uh, like uh, life uh, or getting married or prosperity or maybe some kind of healing like uh, healing an injury uh, such as in this case uh, a leg or being cured from uh, cancer and uh, if uh, the miracle uh, actually happened and the people got cured or got what they wanted then uh, they'd make a donation to the church and then uh, they would uh, produce uh, one of these uh, figurines for the miracle to be remembered. This is a representation of um, prayer for the souls uh, of the dead. So. There would be uh, flames all around with uh, maybe four or six uh, souls in the form of flames on uh, a base of rocks with uh, the Madonna and uh, Jesus Christ in the background, a skull in the forefront uh, part of a representation and then a number of people praying, namely a young woman an older woman with uh, her hair uh, tied in a knot, uh, an elderly man and always a priest. So these would be the people uh, praying for the souls of um, the dead trapped in purgatory 
before uh, being able to access uh, paradise or heaven. Of course, uh, there is uh, another tradition, um, it's like a funny tradition uh, that then has uh, been uh, developed in uh, theatre plays uh, by Eduardo De Filippo and many other Neapolitan uh, actors and comedians, according to which uh, if you pray one of these souls uh, hard enough, uh, not only will they give you some kind of uh, blessing, but they will give you lottery numbers, and you can play those lottery numbers and ultimately, finally, become rich and live a miserable life of poverty. The picture you can see uh, in uh, central position just uh, above the altar is by Massimo Stanzione and it's of uh, a Holy Mary praying for the souls of uh, purgatory. Just above it there is uh, another picture uh, which represents uh, Sant'Anna, Sant'Anna the mother of Mary, offering Mary to God. So as you know, uh, behind uh, the altar uh, there is uh, the skull and uh, the sequence of uh, imagery goes from the skull to the purgatory to paradise. This is a painting by Andrea Vaccaro and uh, it's uh, the passing of uh, Saint Joseph. This is uh, the death of uh, Sant'Alessio by Luca Giordano and Sant'Alessio became the patron saint of uh, pilgrims, uh, travelers and beggars. Notice uh, the abundance of uh, color and light in the painting. Luca Giordano was uh, known as a master of uh, color and light. So I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, the visit to the church, uh, to this uh, uh, iconic uh, place of Naples. Uh, it should also be visited together with the cemetery of uh, Fontanelle, and I highly recommend it. And I hope uh, you spend uh, maybe a little bit more time uh, uh, having a look at uh, places of uh, cultural interest and uh, our heritage uh, rather than uh, eating uh, pizzas.